you've got this massive to-do list and it never seems to get done. It never seems to actually shrink. You just keep feeling frustrated or overwhelmed just trying to keep your head above water. Sound familiar? Let's talk about three effective to-do list techniques that are gonna actually put you back in charge of that list. I'm Tara Wagner, breakthrough coach and lifelong entrepreneur. I help other entrepreneurs use a holistic approach to business so they can create profits they can depend on without burning themselves out. If that sounds like your jam, be sure to check out my free training on how you can do the same. The first effective to-do list technique has to do with what's actually going on that list. And I don't mean that some things shouldn't be written down. What I actually mean is some things aren't broken down. If you're putting projects on your to-do list versus tasks, you're going to feel overwhelmed. A to-do list should be made up of single step tasks, not multi-step projects. So let me give you an example. One idea of this would be go to the grocery store, right? It sounds like one simple thing to do. I'm not asking you to break that down to such a point where you're like, put the key in the ignition and drive to the store and find a parking spot and go inside and buy these things. We don't need every little tiny step. But when we do look at the idea of going to the grocery store, that actually includes making a grocery list, maybe making a meal plan and then going to the grocery store or maybe going to multiple grocery stores. Projects belong in a project management tool, something like ClickUp, by the way. Tasks belong on a to-do list, something that you can actually look at and check small things off to see the progress in those projects. It's harder to schedule a project than it is to schedule the tasks. And you do actually want to schedule those tasks instead of looking at every single task in a project or every single task in every single project, you want to be able to to organize these in some sort of project management system and pull over the ones that you just wanna focus on right now or today or this morning or later this afternoon. This allows you to look at fewer things, not feel so overwhelmed and actually make more progress because they're simple, actionable tasks and not big giant projects. Comment below with projects. If it looks like your to-do list is filled with big projects instead of the small tasks to get them done. The second effective to-do list technique is understanding what's the actual priority here. If you're not prioritizing your tasks, it's really easy to get caught up in the wrong ones and spend your time on something that didn't need your attention just yet or maybe at all. Just because it's on your list doesn't mean it actually belongs there. Now, prioritization is something we could talk about multiple, over multiple videos. And I have multiple videos on them, including the one that we just did last week on the Eisenhower matrix. So if you struggle with understanding how to prioritize your tasks, which ones you should be doing first or protecting the most fiercely, and which ones you should probably be delegating, outsourcing, or eliminating completely, highly recommend you watch that video. And then number three, you gotta understand that your to-do list needs to be viewed as a living, breathing thing. Not a fixed list that you just need to barrel through, but something that actually needs constant evolution and adjusting and tweaking and changing week to week. Look, even Santa Claus made a list and then checked it twice, and you need to do the same thing. You need to be making that list, but then nurturing it, coming back to it, examining it, questioning the things that are on there, rearranging things on a regular basis. I actually encourage you to schedule time on a regular basis to be able to adjust your list according to those priorities and according to your week and the schedule that it actually has. When you're scheduling that time, make sure that you're also going through and saying, is this a task or is this a project? And if it's a project, use that time to break things down and schedule them so that you're not trying to focus on, holy crap, I've got this big giant thing to do along with these 20 little tiny things to do. How am I going to get them all done? You want to be able to look at that list and say, okay, it's Friday, I've got this much time, I'm gonna move these things here and I'm gonna do these things over here and I'm gonna put this right here. This needs to be a living, breathing thing that's always changing, always moving, always evolving because guess what? You are and your life is. And if we don't come at it with some flexibility, we're gonna get fixed, we're gonna get frustrated and we're gonna get nowhere. But here's the thing that I really want you to take away. 
Annie Dillard said, how we spend our days is of course, how we spend our life. You are in charge of how you spend your days. Don't be run by a to-do list, be in charge of it and make sure that it's reflecting the most important things in your life, your big rocks. And if you have no idea what big rocks are, watch this video next. But if you want more guidance, more support on figuring out as an entrepreneur, what should go on your to-do list every day and what shouldn't, I highly encourage you to check out my Healthy Hustle Roadmap, my free class, How to Use a Holistic Approach to Create a Profitable Business Without Burning Yourself Out, will show you the three mistakes business owners are making and introduce you to the techniques, the tools, the strategies, and the approach that I use to help entrepreneurs reach six figures in under 40 hours a week. If that sounds like something that would support you, be sure to check out my free class in the description below. Be sure to also give this video a thumbs up, fist bump in the comments if you made it to the end and let me know your biggest takeaway and then check out these other videos that might encourage you as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you're just making a list and then checking it twice, <laughs> I'm gonna use that. <laughs>